Jake Ludington here at HPE Discover, and I'm here with Phil Gilbert. And the recent three-part announcement around support for two much bigger drive sizes. Uh, I think it's 7.68 and, and 15 terabyte. Yep, 1536. Yeah, uh, 1536. Are there any challenges that come with having a drive that size in the chassis? Yeah, absolutely. So the, the bigger drives come with their own set of challenges because all of a sudden you're looking at an average system that might, instead of having 100 drives in it or 200 drives in it, suddenly going down to 30 or 40 drives. I mean, you're talking about having that few drives. It's very hard to drive that kind of performance out of those kind of drives. And it's also very hard to make them last any longer. Um, so, you know, to be able to offer off like five year warranty on those drives, for example. So what kinds of things is, is 3PAR doing to still achieve the level of IOPS that you would expect out of a three-part system? Yeah, so we've got two technologies. We've got a technology called adaptive sparing. And adaptive sparing is a technology that's designed to take the spare space that we reserve per drive and pass it back to the drive to increase the amount of over-provisioning space. So over-provisioning space is used for wear leveling and it's used for um, to um, improve, the, improve the right performance of the drive. Um, that sparing applies to all our existing SSDs and the change we're making with the newer drives is we're allowing the ability to use any free space on the drive as over provisioning as well. So that really improves the right performance and it really improves the endurance as well and that allows us to continue to offer that five year warranty. So with, with fewer drives though, how are you actually um, riding faster? But yeah, so the, the problem with drive access is a very traditional model of having um, writing to drives is having uh, node ownership. So a particular controller in the system will own a particular drive. What we've done with 3PI is we've changed that ownership and we no longer have a concept of node ownership. And instead, a node pair owns every drive behind it. And both controllers can actively access and write to both their, all the SSDs behind those pair at the same time. Don't, don't you run into the problem of potentially having collisions of data rates? No, so 3PAR is a virtualized array, so we're not building physical RAID groups. That means that we can do things like um, locking at a, at a much higher level inside the virtualization layer that guarantees that we can never have two controllers trying to access the same data at the same time. So, so really this is kind of the uh, software-defined uh, software storage in practice? It, yeah, inside 3PAR, yeah, absolutely.